It's been a long way for the Super Heat, and now it's officially on. Felipe Toledo taking on Kelly Slater in a 30-minute matchup, and the winner will move on to the semifinals. More and more fans getting down to the water's edge as close as they can to see this opening exchange that we've all been waiting for. Joe Trapel with Potts for the call. Kelly versus Felipe. All the hype for good reason. Kelly's looking for the two. He's disappeared and come flying out to a big roundhouse cutback. And Kelly with a great position to put himself out the back. What an interesting start to the matchup. Sorry. And then behind Kelly. This is the kind of wave Kelly's looking for. Straight into the barrel and then that big open face wrapping cutback. One of the best wrapping cutbacks on the tour at the moment, Joe. Extending the body, they can see standing nice and tall, now crouching, getting himself in position. Talk about tube riding. Kelly still, in my eyes, the best in the world, Joe. 100%. Laying down that rail, he's throwing down some great carving maneuvers, full wrap and a tight rebound to kick things off out in front against Philippe. But you're always just anticipating when the heat starts. This one officially starting now, Felipe up and out. That'll just give Kelly priority. 25 minutes and 45 seconds still to go. Moving back into position. Let's see if he'll get started now. Felipe, off the bottom, first turn, off the roof. Down carve to set up the lift to hit. Low tail reverse. Straight off the bat, Toledo picking a, a marginal wave, but this kid is so dangerous no matter what kind of wave he's on. And then the ability to then get an air in, 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 a, in a part of the wave that really shouldn't be an air section. This wave just really didn't cooperate. All of a sudden there's this weird lump in the ocean at the moment, I think due to the tide, but Toledo connecting nicely with the lip on that first manoeuvre. And then watch the carve here, he extends it all the way down, opens those shoulders. Kelly putting himself Right on the best part of the wave of the reef that's just gonna bottom out. A little bit too deep. And that one's gonna shut down. Setting up this bowly section. Kelly pulls right under the hood. Deep on this one, still traveling. Oh. Kelly fighting for the finish. Oh. And goes down swinging. Bomb setting up out the back for Kelly. Standing room only. That section is going to land right on top of him at the end. The surf is pumping here at Karamas for the superheat. And that's how he's going to take down Toledo, let me tell you. Felipe now in position, bowling up. Arm drag, now nice and deep. Stalling that tube right and comes out. Little top turn wrap, all foam, and now Reef. He commits to it. Still fitting in a major oh turn. Get out of there. As his fins are just skipping on the top of that reef, getting the completion right in front of Kelly with 21 to go. A little bit of an inside double grab here. Slows himself down right in front of Kelly. Front row seats for Slater on that occasion. And Toledo fights his way out. That was a critical tube right there from Felipe Toledo. Next one setting up for Kelly. Bottom drops out, another chance at the tube. This one's going to spit him out. Wide open section to lay that rail down. Has to recover quickly with the bottom dropping out. And Kelly oh. surviving some wild sections at Karamas. Oh my god. This is uh, what we came to see, Joe. This Karamas is just lit up for the superheat of this round. The crowd on the beach, every single wave, you can hear them cheering for these both these guys. You can see the water just sucking off the reef on the takeoff here. Yeah, just stalling straight into the barrel. And then extra little section, and it goes into this beautiful cutback. I mean, one of the best at it. Cutting it short. Oh, that was critical right there. That's a free fall drop. And Kelly sticking with this wave. Get out of there, that's for sure. I love the way he just slides straight into it, Joe. There's no sort of bottom turning. He just kind of knifes that board straight into the barrel. And then cutting back, identifying he needed to cut that one short just to make it. Very dangerous wave through the inside here. You know, it is a playground, but it also comes with consequence. You heard Kolohe got hurt yesterday afternoon. And Kelly Slater sliding straight into a wave. This is going to be one of his better waves and go into his top two, Joe. It spits and he gets another bonus section on the end of it.
And then watch how he just leans onto this rail right here. Opens the shoulders, drives it all the way around, always looking at the wave, deciding what he's going to do next. Cutting that wrapping cut back short and somehow makes that free fall drop. Critical stuff there for Kelly Slater. And look at the score. Incredible commitment to Kelly over that shallow reef and just played with that. Gurgling an inside corner. Kelly will get the lead change now, 7-3-3, compared to Felipe's 6-3-3, so a point better on the comparison. He traveled for so long in. I mean, that one he, he didn't make was a 10-point ride for sure. Here comes Slater from Cocoa Beach, Florida, deep on that one. That thing just detonating on the reef. Felipe won in the update of the situation. It was in the title race. He almost made one of the best barrels of the contest. Late takeoff right under the hood. Kelly Slater gets another vision in the tube at Karamas. Swinging the wrapping cut back. What he used to do is look for a big air section and, and go to the air. I mean, Kelly sliding. How did he make that super late drop? Ford was so sliding sideways and then that big wrapping cutty. He can do that all day long, Joe. Felipe as well. I mean, he's got to go to the air. Look at this takeoff from Kelly Slater. Sliding. The fins give way. I mean, tiptoe drop right there for Kelly. And, and it just puts him in such a good spot. I mean, he's he's that good at it. And I'm seeing Felipe play into Kelly's hands right now, and they're trying to go barrel for barrel. Toledo's turn, hugging the wall. Transitions out of the pit. Highline rail carve right in front of Kelly. Patience to drill it off the top. He'll run out of room. Not many guys come out on top of Kelly when you go in a tube shootout. What Felipe needs to do is to change it up, maybe find one of those big air sections, try and find a big air rotator, maybe one or two away. I mean, at the moment, he's looking a little bit off. Beautiful barrel, though. Don't get me wrong, he's, uh, he's surfing incredibly well, but he's playing Kelly's game at the moment, Joe. Not a very deep tube ride, and then this wave not cooperating with the big open face, kind of going a little fat. Not really allowing him to make that turn super dynamic. And then as this wave goes into the deeper channel, it doesn't really give him anything to hit, and that board skips out. Number three as Felipe versus Kelly. Toledo up now. Going for the big tail-high whip off the roof. Feel like he heard Martin Potter say, go to the air, make a point of difference against Kelly. At a lot of the heats today. Well, you can't ignore it, can you? Late takeoff. Felipe gets out of the way because Kelly's got priority. Throwing down the wrapping cutback is Slater. He'll lose the second maneuver. But these guys not giving each other an inch. And looks like he's committed. Real deep, hollow on the takeoff, and he's too deep. Step straight off, priority back to Kelly. He's absolutely lived up to every expectation you could think of. Here we go, let's take a look at Kelly. Kelly standing up and not finding anything. Priority back and forth, yeah. just like Strider was saying. He coming down to this way, Felipe Toledo recovers on the stumble on the takeoff. One big ramp and he can't get the takeoff off the big section with 10 seconds to go. Kelly Slater is fired up. <laughs> One of the most amped up celebrations we've seen from the 11 time world champ Slater, feeling that taste of victory. As he will be moving on to the semifinals here at the Corona Bali Protected. Well, I can't say I'm surprised, Joe. You know, Kelly Slater going for a big 360 there, but Felipe from the get-go was playing right into the hands of Kelly.